Hey guys and welcome to the tutorial of Hexatrain. In this tutorial I will teach you the ground basics of how to start your own economy. Starting off, hover over locations to know what they produce and where they go. Melter accepts coals from all of these locations, iron from all of these locations, copper ore from these locations and it produces metal for these locations. The farm produces grain for these locations. Coal mine produces coal for these locations. And so on and so forth. To begin, a simple loop will do the farms. Go to depot 000. And have it stretch to the farms. Oops. Now from the farm, we connect to the grain, or the bakery. From the farm, we connect to the bakery, and then loop back around. Add our new train, add to farm, add to bakery. Depart. On your train's first loop, it won't collect any items. That's okay. Once it hits its second or third loop, it should start producing and collecting cargo. As you can see, our farm is now producing grain. So it has nothing to give to the bakery. The train will make one loop. Collect the grain from the farmlands, as you can see by the number indicated, and drop it off at the bakery. As you just saw, there was a yellow icon above the bakery. The yellow icon means that it has nothing being produced over there because it has no ingredients, or it has no material. Now that our bakery accepts grain from our farm, it produces food for these locations. So we'll have our first, so we'll have our bakery connect to the closest city. Now we can either add another train or we can add a location to this train already. Adding a location just means add and click on the location. Now if we zoom out, we'll see train 000 go from the farm, pick up the grains that it has produced, after picking up the grains that it's produced, go to the bakery to drop off the grains that it's produced. Now it collects the food, takes the new rail to the city, and drops off its cargo. Now remember, I said that it would not show on its first loop around, so if we speed this up, we'll see that on its second loop, it will do exactly that. Picks up the grain. Deposits the grain. Picks up the food. And deposits the food. Now instead of having our train go all the way back to the depot every time, we can save time and energy by creating another railway. Reducing the train's path. Remember, because it was newly built, the train is not going to take that immediately. Just like we won't see any of the items being moved from one location to the next. A full loop has to be made.
Remember, a train's max cargo is 200. Seeing that our bakery produces 440 food, we can set up another train on this system. But what we're going to do is have a secondary train connect to this farm, to this bakery, to that city. Add new train from farm 02 the bakery to the city. Part. Remember, the train has to make a full loop before it takes anything from a new location. I did, however, make one mistake. As you can see, train 2 will go the path that it's following right now, down to the bakery, up to the city, around back to where train 00, zero is. But because this railway goes to farm 01, it won't take it. So what we can do is press X on the tiles that we need to fix. Hold shift on the edge of a tile. And voila. Let's see how our grain is doing. Massive increase and a steady decline. Which then should increase after a loop or two and it'll be a steady flow of up down up down up down move on to the next place smelter steps coal from here iron from there copper from there metals oh boy all the things that it accepts is really far away if we can find one that's relatively close. Nope. Not even close. So after a bit of jumping around, we found a coal mine right over here. And that connects with our smither right over there. We'll have one of our railways break. Here we go. So my train is going to go to the smither first and then the coal mine. But we're going to have it say coal mine first, then smith. So we go back to depot 00. Add new train. Add from the coal mine. Add to the smither. I don't know why I keep calling it smither. And it's smelter. I'm sorry, everybody. I, I I know it's smelter. Smelter. I don't know why I kept calling it smither. Now, of course, I could have made this track go the other way. That would have been smarter. I made a mistake. I'm very sorry about that. Now the smelter can't start producing any metal without coal, iron, or copper. And then once those are produced, or accepted, it will produce metal for the city. Going to depot number 01. We're gonna come out and go straight to the base station. Have it loop around and go to the university. From depot 01, we go add baseport, add university, depart. 
Now here's where things get wild. Because after this train makes its full loop, we will then be going to the moon. We now have to have one of our moon bases. If I can find one for you guys. Here we go. Moon lab. Except food from a space station. Except moon rocks from one of the quarries. Produce the moon crystal to then bring back to that ship. So first. Except some moon rocks. Where's our closest station? Build our station. And then from our station. We then go to the quarry. We go from here. And then to the moon lab. And then from the moon lab, we can either go back to the depot or back over here. Remember, your trains don't need repairs. They don't need fuel. So it's easy just to make one continuous loop. So we can do... Moon base. Quarry. Moon lab. And we're good. Rain. Go. I have no idea how that happened. What? Ah, so I just learned something with you guys. You can make tracks without being connected to the station. So let's fix this real quickly. And it's going the wrong way. Great. <laughs> That's beautiful. Okay. There you go. What we have to do now is go back to Earth and connect a bakery with a space station. Because the space station ships out food. Bakery produces food and takes it from the farmlands. So, farmlands was somewhere in this mess. I know this looks like a hot mess. I get it. Sometimes it will look clean, crisp, and sometimes it's just gonna look like Medusa's hair. Now that we've collected food for the space station, we see our spaceship get ready and fired with the train on it. it goes. Now we wait for our train. And there we go again. All the train takes it has. Oh wait. Here. And by the time that train ship plain astronaut thing comes back it'll have a bunch of moon rocks and there you go if you guys enjoyed this tutorial please leave a like and a comment down below if you'd like to see more tutorials of different games or continuing this game please let me know as well my name is exo takamura and like always i love y'all 
stay square. Deuces.